Hey, welcome back to some more Soccer Spirits gameplay. This is Galatea. Today I'm just going to do another Al Qaeda Ultimate match for some of the newer players who are playing and maybe some of the older ones who've been playing for a little while. Maybe they need some kind of strategy to help them beat Al Qaeda. She is the easiest boss out of all the bosses that they have out so far. So let's get started. I my pri prior video I used a different setup. I'll be using something else today, so y'all get to see different results, or same results with different setups, you know, different gameplay and all that. I am just going to throw on a hero ace for the HP and attack for my Thunder players. It doesn't really matter for K, he's not going to get attacked really too much. Maybe, maybe he'll get attacked, I don't know, but this is the team I'm using. This is also the team I've been currently using for Coliseum. It's gotten me all the way up to floor 31 so far, so it's food for thought. Now y'all might not have all these cards yet, but that's alright. Um, you can use a fairly similar, you know, there's there's four passers all around, all across the board. It doesn't have to be a thunder four passer or whatnot. And uh, if you get your reflex high enough, that's why I have Veronica in the back and Avor in the back, decreasing their reflex and increasing my own. You can just easily steal the ball away from all the opponents. If you're not that strong midfield wise, you can just use a forward pass. Usually people start off by superbing their strikers. So, <laughs> No harm, no foul. You don't even your your front line set for the most part. I got a crit buff going here with uh, Juno, but you don't need a crit buffer really. I mean, it's nice to have a crit buffer. I'm using it for my own preferences. I like to crit all the time, more damage all the constantly. Yeah, it's just simple as that. I mean. She really is a very easy boss. If you're still, if you're having trouble, maybe you just need to get your uh, team ability higher, level up some cards and whatnot. But forward passing works very well. You can also, if you're strong enough, you can just break through the outsides. It doesn't really matter too much. I uh, had Kiki with Rosaria. I'll just show you real quick. Um, Kiki, yeah, right here. Kiki increases the pass effect in the position, and she also increases the action speed. Rosaria has her own pass effect increase, and she also increases action speed in the position, so you can get a 30% buff to your midfield and be a little bit faster to help you out when battling these bosses if you have both of them. And it's just something simple like that. But that's all I have here for today. This is Galatea signing out. I will see you on the next video.